Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about the zero matrix. And we'll cover a couple examples on how to compute using the zero matrix. And we'll conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what is a zero matrix? A zero matrix, or the null matrix, is a matrix with all zero entries. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. We have the first zero matrix of order two by two, and all the entries are zero. And take the third example, we have a zero matrix of four rows and three columns, and all of the entries are zero. Now these are examples of zero matrices. So, if we're adding or subtracting a zero matrix, that will return the original matrix. So we have matrix A plus zero, or the zero matrix, is equals to itself, matrix A, or the original matrix A minus the zero matrix is itself, matrix A. And if we're multiplying a matrix with a zero matrix, that will return the zero matrix. So we have matrix A multiplied by the zero matrix, that returns the zero matrix. Or the other way around, the zero matrix multiplied by matrix A is the zero matrix. Remember, we'll need to check the order of these two matrices to determine if they can be multiplied. The determinant of a zero matrix is always zero. And because the determinant of a zero matrix is always zero, we cannot find inverse of a zero matrix. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In the first example, we're asked to find matrix A plus the zero matrix, as well as matrix A minus the zero matrix. So for matrix A plus the zero matrix, what we'll do is we'll sum the corresponding elements with 1 plus 0, which is that 1 plus 0, 15 plus 0, which is that 15 plus 0, and so on. And that simplifies to 1, 15, 70, and 20, which is the original matrix A from the question. So we have shown one of the concepts that we saw earlier where an original matrix plus a zero matrix is itself. And similarly, for A, minus the zero matrix, what we'll do is we'll subtract the corresponding elements of one, 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 15 minus 0, which is that 15 minus 0, and so on. And that simplifies to 1, 15, 17, 20, which is conveniently the original matrix A as well. So again, we've shown that an original matrix A minus the zero matrix is itself In the second example, we're asked to find the zero matrix multiplied by the matrix A. And so, we'll need to determine the order of these matrices to see if they can be multiplied. So the order of matrix zero, or the zero matrix, is two by two, which is that two by two, and the order of matrix A is two by three, because we have two rows and three columns. And because the column of the first matrix is equal to the row of the second matrix, we're able to multiply these together. And the combined matrix 0, A, has the number of rows from the first matrix, which is that 2, and the number of columns from the second matrix, which is that 3. And so with the 0 matrix multiplied by A, what we'll do is we'll multiply the row by the column. So with 0 multiplied by 20, which is that 0 multiplied by 20, 0 multiplied by 50, which is that 0 multiplied by 50. And the second step is to sum these two. And we can go ahead and populate each of these entries. And given that we're multiplying everything by zeros in each of these entries, we have a matrix of zeros. And that is the definition of a zero matrix. So this ties in with one of the concepts that we saw earlier. With a zero matrix multiplied by A, 
is the zero matrix. In a third example, we're asked to calculate the determinant of the matrix zero, or the zero matrix. So we have the determinant of the zero matrix as AD minus BC. So A is zero multiplied by D, which is also zero, minus B, which is zero, and C, which is also zero. And that simplifies to zero. So the determinant of zero matrix is always zero. And because of that, we're unable to find the inverse of a zero matrix, which is what we'll show on the next slide. So in the fourth example is where we're asked to calculate the inverse of matrix zero or the zero matrix. And we saw in the previous example that the determinant of the zero matrix is zero. And because of that, we're unable to find the inverse of the zero matrix. To summarize, we have discussed the zero matrix. A zero matrix or the null matrix is a matrix with all zero entries. And we've had a look at a couple examples where we have a two by two zero matrix, two by three zero matrix, and four by three zero matrix as examples. And we also saw that for matrix A, if we were to add the zero matrix, that will return the original matrix A. Or matrix A minus the zero matrix will return itself. And we also saw that matrix A multiplied by the zero matrix will give us the zero matrix. Or the other way around, the zero matrix multiplied by A is the zero matrix. Remember, we'll need to check the order of these matrices to determine if they can be multiplied. And we also saw that the determinant of a zero matrix is always zero. And because of that, a zero matrix cannot be inverted. And so we're unable to find the inverse of the zero matrix. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.